Hi guys, Mark Denson here. We are running kind of a Bill Edson theme on the channel at the moment. Um, so we're going to tie several of Bill Edson's streamer flies. Um, and there'll be a film about Bill as well. Um, but today we're going to tie this one, Bill Edson's Light Tiger. Um, hang on. Okay, I attach the tank thread to this 4x long streamer hook and wind the thread all the way down the shank. Then I grab a piece of Mylar tinsel. This is gold on one side, silver on the other. I'm gonna use the gold side for this little tag. I make three to four turns of this tinsel. Tie off and cut off. Then we're gonna make the tail of these uh, bared feathers from wood duck. You can use two slips, use one from the right and a left side. But you can use one slip as well and fold it like I did here. If you haven't got perfectly matched sets of feather, I find this way to be easier to get a good result from. Then I'll take a bunch of peacock hurl. And since it's a pretty long hook, we're gonna need a lot of hurl to be able to cover the whole shank in one take. I tie them in like this so they help to form a foundation for the body here. First I go up and cover this. Just tying it down. And then I go back with the thread. Make sure you get the peacock curls all the way back to the little tag here on the tail. Then I wind them around the thread. Since I want a little bit of taper in the body, I go back and forth here. And as you can see, there's not much left of these hurls. I tied in, I guess, about nine hurls for this fly. And they are pretty much used up. I make Good room for the head, since these flies need a larger head than most other flies. Because of these brass eyes. Then I prepare the bucktail. 
I never stack bucktail, but I like to even out the tips. So I pull out the longest fibers and put them back in the bunch here. And then I take the shortest fibers and pull them longer out. So I even out the hair tips, but it's nothing like stacking. You still get that natural taper in the wing. Then I secure the hair with a few wraps. Then I soak the butt ends of the hair and the windings with lacquer. Super thin, penetrating, fly tying lacquer. Then I grab a feather from a hen back dyed scarlet red. We need that for the small topping that Edson used in these flies. He often used the tip of small hackle feathers, but I like this individual fibers. They give the same result, but they are a little bit more. Um, they give add more life underwater. The length of this topping should be max one third of the length of the wing. Then we come to the eyes. These are the original it's and brass eyes, but they need a little bit of preparation before you can tie them in. I cut the eyes down to length so they'll be able to fit under the windings of the head. And then I made this uh, taper in the end. Um, and after that, I use a nail file to take off the rough edges so I don't cut my tying thread. After that, they are ready to be tied in. Then I add an eye on each side. I'm really careful with the first turns of thread here, so I don't cut them on the eyes. So relatively loose turns to secure the eyes, and then I add pressure and build up the head. I tied these flies for years, making smaller heads than I'll tie on this one because I think it looks better, but having seen Bill Edson's original flies, I think the small heads are a bit out of place on these flies. So I make them a bit larger now. Then I add lacquer, this thin lacquer, really penetrating the thread and locking everything in place. The problem with this lacquer is it needs two, three or four coats before it really shines, but it's worth the effort. 
That's it, billets and light tiger. Ready to go fishing. Okay, guys. The light tiger and the next one up is gonna be the dark tiger. Thanks for watching. See you around. <laughs>